Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Um, today I'm going to talk about the C Creality CFS and a few little problems people have been having um, with it coming up with error messages and not feeding properly and stuff like that. Um, I was over in America with um, fellow brand friend Charisse Lavidia and we were talking about the problems she was having and she did mention that one of the springs was really hard to push to release the um, release the filament when she had a jam. Um, and we found that it was causing these, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see this um, here? Where the filament's sort of eaten away with there? Yeah. <coughs> and it became the conclusion that the spring seems to be a bit tight and eating into the filament. And once you get this sort of stuff going on, with your filament, and it's got all these little bits hanging off it and stuff. Um, it ain't going to feed through the Bowden tube properly, it's going to get jammed. <clears throat> the place it gets jammed is on this little switch here. And if you feel it's really, really hard to push in, this one here. So I'm going to talk about how to fix that problem. What you're going to need is a pair of wire cutters. I have a little marker pen that I mark things with and the toolkit that came with the K2. It, well, or a set of Allen keys, either one. Anyway, <clears throat> so um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. And at the end, if you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions or anything for us, let us know in the comments down below. I also have affiliate links down below for Creality and Sunloo. If you're interested in buying any of their stuff, if you go through my link, I get a bit of, bit of a kickback and the price is the same for you. You just go to the shop like normal and, and just buy like normal. Okay guys, thanks very much and let's get into it. Okay, so it's really easy to fix guys. You don't even have to take out your filament. What you need to do is get an Allen key that's gonna fit on all these screws here. So I like the box because it's got this little thing in here and I put all the screws in there so they don't roll off the table or anything. So just get out my little Allen key piece. I think it's the the, the um, second largest one I think fits in here. Yep, second largest Allen key in your kit. I'll fit in, so just undo all the, it doesn't matter which way you do it. There's three silver screws and two black screws on the back here. There's um, this one here. <coughs> There's those two there, and there's these two black ones at the back here. You need to take all of them off here. Yeah. <coughs> it's all the same Allen key. Um, there is a difference in size of the silver ones, so just be aware. Um, the two here, two here are longer than the one up the, um, the top here. So the one up the top is a little one like this. That's the only difference in the screws. A little one like that and the other one is a bit longer as you can see <coughs> but there are the two screws there so one's long and one's tiny okay <coughs> so just undo them all um, oh yeah when you unplug your CFS from your, your K2 make sure it's turned off because uh, when you plug it back in, it does put a surge of power for in. You don't want to blow up your... Oh, no. I'm forgetting. The black ones are one size under. So it's the second smallest one. So basically the two Allen keys in the middle of your little clip that you've got. Does it get a size on it? No. It has, but not for my eyes. Jeez. I think it's the one and a half and two mil Allen keys. <clears throat> so the one and a half are the two black ones and the two mil are the silver ones. Okay, so once you get all those screws out, you just grab it by the little plug at the back here and like so, say, you get a little grip, it'll just all pull out. So careful, it's connected with the cables. That will come off, would allow you access to the inside here. And you don't even need to undo the, script, uh, the tubes if you don't want to, but if you want to undo the tubes and get it completely out, you just need to push on the little black 
release knob here and the tube will come and get it. The tube will come straight out like so. Okay, so just push down on that. The tube will come out, but you don't need to. So, <coughs> next thing you need to do is get this little wheel out here. And the way to do that is to get your smaller Allen key and you'll see, let me bring you a bit closer. You'll see in here, I don't know if you'll see it, but there's a little um, silver pin right in there. Okay, so what you do is you take some of the pressure off by pushing in that, that, that a bit and just push through with a, the Allen key on that and it should come out. If it doesn't, just get your pliers and pull it out and you're pulling out this little pin. Okay, put that in my little pile, <coughs> which allows this to come out. That's just a wheel with a spring on it. Now, <coughs> this is a spring that is too tight. Okay, so what I've been doing, and I've done it to quite a number of them now, and it fixes the problem, all these errors popping up with this CFS. Now, just be warned, you do it at your own risk, but I found it fixes it, and springs are pretty easy to come by. What I think they've done, they've done all their testing and stuff, and then when they bulk ordered it, <coughs> they've, they've um, not got exactly the same springs as what they did when they did all their testing, and they're a tiny bit tighter. It doesn't need much. So what I'm doing is I'm getting this spring, and I'm taking just the top little ring here off. Okay, so what I'm doing is where it joins, you can see where the join is on the thing there, it's where the edge is, and I'm cutting the wire just underneath it. So I'll show you. You need a pretty decent pair of snips, your little ones you get with your um, with your printer ain't going to do it. They're just a pair of Y snips, I'm sure someone will, someone's dad will have one somewhere. And I'm just cutting off the first little spring right where the edge is. So with a decent pair, it doesn't take much. And I'm cut one little ring off. See, so just one ring. It'll just, if I get it. That's all it needs, just one ring coming off. <coughs> spring still spring. It's just got one less wind on it now. Cool. And it's the tiniest bit smaller. Now don't cut too much off. <laughs> you cut too much off, it's gonna be too loose. And then when you do what you do is just line it back up. <coughs> oh. So the wheel pretty much goes back in place and you'll see where the hole is and where the holes are here they need to line up so just push it back in like so and then put the spring underneath it okay so while I'm holding it in place I can put the spring in the spring goes in the end there like so cool so I've got the spring back in here I don't know if you can see it yet see and what I do is I just push it down with my hand get that little pin that we took out earlier that little metal pin I just push it in with my fingers now you take some of the, you take the tension with it by pushing down on the button, and then you work in the little pin that's bloody awkward on this angle. Oh, it's my back killing me. And you just weasel that, thread that, thread that little pin back in to the hole with your finger, and just um, loosen it and push it and loosen it and push it until it just pops in the hole. Okay, because you've got to um, just line it up. So if you've got it pushed down too far, that down too far, it's not going to line up. So you just got to loosen it and just, just slightly up and down as you're pushing it in and all lines up. That's all you need to do, guys. <coughs> so just cut this little bit of spring off. See that little one, just one little ring of it and then just put it all back together. Now when you're putting this back in, Make sure this goes in the little hole inside there, the plug. So I'm just pushing the plug back in, and as much cable as I can back in that little hole. That's right underneath the engine, where the engine goes, or the motor goes. Push that back in. Then get this. It's got a little, little tongue on it just here. That goes in the front here. And then just pushes on top. Get that little bit of wire out of the way there. <coughs> then put all the screws back in. Simple as that. Okay, the way I do it is I put the little silver one in first, 
up the top here. Okay. <clears throat> that just holds everything in place. Then if you get the black ones and put them in down here. Now the black, all the black ones do is just hold this, this plastic cover on. So they're not really doing much. Because <clears throat> the little tongue holds the front in and these just hold the back in. And then the other two big ones, or longer screws I should say, in here. And that's pretty much all I've done. <clears throat> now if you do stuff it up, pretty sure it ain't going to be covered by warranty, but those springs, you should be able to take the spring to a spring place or a, a, a hardware store and get information about where you can get another one of those springs from. Either, I guess if, even if you ring Crowley up and say, hey, look, I stuffed up, I cut up too much of the spring, I'll probably even send you one, to be honest with you. They're pretty good. Um, but if they don't, they'll be able to tell you where to get them from, I'm sure of it. And then you can buy your own. I'm talking about a couple of cents worth of spring. Yeah, it's not going to cost much. <coughs> That's the fix. One, one little spring off, and I found it stops all my little errors happening with my CFS, and I stopped getting all that eaten up. Um, filament inside the CFS. A couple of little other things to mention while I'm talking about CFS. I have found that um, some, of the, some of the other branded filaments, you can see they're not quite as high as the Creality ones. So they don't hit these little, these little things here, these little spring-loaded things here that hold them in place when they're spinning and they lift out and the, and the rollers don't roll properly here. So this isn't spinning and the bottom one's trying to spin as well and that, that causes problems too. So there's two ways you can do it. You can either re-spool it onto a, a proper size spool or a spool that Creality have done, which is these size spools, but I suggest you get a plastic one because they're better. Or there are things on um, Thingiverse and printables and probably on the cloud as well. I reckon they're on Creality Cloud, definitely. So go have a look there first. That you can put on top of these things to, to give it a bit more length in it so it pushes down on these as well um, so that's one thing to notice also if your cardboard reels are starting to pull apart like you can see this one's starting to have a little bit of a ding in it or if they're bent in and they've got a wobble in them like that it ain't going to go very well time to replace your spool in there um, i found that um, with the cardboard spools, a lot of back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and when it gets stuck and it just tries to and it jumping all over the place, because when it gets stuck and it's still trying to pull, these sort of tend to bounce a bit and it stuffs up your cardboard um, things, which isn't good for them. Now there's another one thing you can do, if you don't want to do any of that, you can print out little um, plastic sides that go on the sides of the cardboard spools that protect all this edge here, which is part of the problem it stops it when it gets really bad it stops it rolling nicely in the groove here so um, also on the, they'll be on the cloud or thingiverse or printables okay and you'd actually just put them on the side of your, your cardboard spools and it stops the cardboard spools from falling apart so there's a few things that you can do for your CFS um, that I found but um, I found that cutting the spring does the biggest difference for me I've let Creality know um, Sharice has let Creality know, so um, hopefully um, they agree with us. They may not, and they might come out with some other thing to fix it, but I found that that one little bit of spring is all I've needed um, to fix up a lot of my problems. So um, there you go. Um, do, it at, do it at your own risk, of course, but I've done it on um, four of these, no, five, six of these now and um, it seems to fix a lot of the issues so <clears throat> not all six of mine of course we did it at Sharice's place so some of them were hers um, there you go hope it helped guys see you in the next one okay okay guys thanks for watching i really do appreciate the support you might like one of these or one of these videos um that i've made in the past so feel free <laughs> okay thanks guys bye